phobia which refers to an irrational fear towards an object animal or a situation is a highly prevalent and persistent mental disorder it is associated with impairments in various life domains among the various exposure methods to treat phobia systematic desensitization is shown to be more effective in this session we will discuss how systematic desensitization can treat specific phobia it was joseph wolp who introduced this method into the behavioral therapy technique after being experimented on cats by inducing fear and deconditioning it by pairing with specific feeding pattern systematic desensitization is a classical conditioning technique to be more specific it work on the principle of reciprocal inhibition whether the fear is of height or lizard ghost or public speaking the therapy is generally carried out in three major phases in the first phase deep muscular relaxation like jacobson's progressive muscular relaxation is taught to the patient this step is important because as relaxation and anxiety cannot occur together in an individual whenever the patient takes an effort to relax through the start methods level of anxiety would decline gradually in the second phase of the therapy the patient and the therapist make a fear hierarchy let us take an example if a person has irrational fears towards spiders the person is asked to explain various situations that would elicit the fear in him or her the person might tell you situations like when i think of a spider when i see a photo of a spider when i see a spider on the wall when i see a spider on the floor when there is a spider on my table when there is a spider on my hand and so on once the situations are identified these are ranked from the least feared to the most feared situations by giving a score out of 100 this score is called as subjective unit of distress abbreviated as suds in the third phase of therapy the first phase and the second phase is clubbed the least feared situation is identified and it has been exposed either in vitro or in vivo as the anxiety shoots up the patient is made to relax through the previously taught methods in the first phase the stimuli will be exposed until it no longer produce fear once it is successfully accomplished the therapist help the client to manage the next feared situation through the same mechanism and so on for example in the previous example the person is least feared when thinks of a spider and the sudden score is 10 here the patient will be made to think an image of a spider the therapist would help the person to facilitate the thought so that the person might not get distracted the covert exposure would continue until the image of a spider is no longer threatening the same process will be continued to desensitize the fear and will be carried out till the most feared item is exposed and the fear is extinct to conclude Systematic desensitization is a promising behavioral therapeutic technique in treating specific phobia. The basic principle is reciprocal inhibition and it is carried out in three major phases which begin with teaching relaxation techniques and then laddering the fear evoking situations and lastly pairing relaxation with fear evoking stimulus. Hope you can face any fear in life hereafter. Thank you.